What is up, my butter biscuits? Y'all, within today's video, is going to be my anti haul. I do apologize that there's actually two um, anti hauls within this month. However, if you guys did not pay attention to before, I think I said it in a video, or maybe I didn't. Maybe I just said it in my head. I'd be doing that all the time. Um, I was actually on a cruise in the beginning of the month, and y'all. Ooh, specifically on Carnival, first of all, they want to charge you like $70 for a three-day cruise for the Wi-Fi, and you can't even like upload because it'll take like four days to upload a 12-minute video. So by the time it's fully uploaded, you'll literally be off the ship, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't end up paying for that Wi-Fi, so I couldn't upload my video, so I ended up uploading it in the beginning of the month, which was technically July's anti-haul. This is August anti-haul. So I apologize for that because y'all are probably like, what, two anti-hauls in one month? But no, it was from July. Thank Carnival for that, y'all. Oh my gosh. Anyway, speaking of Carnival, so since I went on that cruise, I really got inspired. And I know that you guys have told me for years now, because I've traveled the whole world, you guys have always said to vlog my trips. And I've always said, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then I don't do it because I end up getting shy. My main thing I would absolutely love, and I'm going to do it. That's what I'm telling you guys right now. I'm going to be starting a travel channel with my little brother. And I should have like done it years ago, but I just didn't have the courage to do it because y'all, it's like very nerve wracking filming in public. And I know so many people are like what you should be used to filming like hello you've been on youtube for like seven years now but there's such a huge difference between sitting here just in front of the camera and no one else in the room and then going out in public and then people are like staring at you weird and then people are like jumping in the back of your video like photo bombing and stuff you know what i mean so i'm just kind of like working up the courage and on top of that too i just feel like y'all i've been through so much over the past couple months that i'm just like i really don't care anymore about anything like i used to overthink things and i'm just like you know what? I'm over it. Like, I'm gonna go out there and live my life and film in public and get over it. And I feel like doing this channel with my little brother, he's 13 years younger than me. I feel like he's just, he's grew up obviously with social media. So it's less like nerve wracking for him because he's like used to it. Do you know what I mean? I feel like the whole newer generation is like used to being on social media as to where us old people, we did not grow up with social media. So it's like weird. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I'm sorry to ramble. I'm just super excited about this travel channel. I'm actually going to be going to Orlando. We already filmed the video in Solvang. So I will put the link to that channel um, once I get it all up and running. I'm going to wait until the first video is up. Um, so make sure you guys check that out. And hopefully I plan to get it up and running within the next couple weeks. So after I get back or from Orlando. So anyways, y'all, today is my anti-haul. I apologize for rambling. It's been a hot minute since I sat down and filmed. It's literally been about two weeks since I filmed a video. I know I've uploaded last week, but um, that video was filmed so far before it's been like two weeks so i'm over here talking a lot chatty kathy let me shut up and let's go ahead and get into this anti-haul make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up i would really appreciate that also i always forget to say like at the end of the video please make sure to give a thumbs up it really does help out the channel and i really would appreciate that so let's go to get into it the first product we're going to be starting this off with is tom ford they are now coming out with eyeshadows and this right here is the white suede collection now, I don't know a price for this because Trend Mood doesn't have it listed because it is coming soon and this is just a sneak peek. I just already know that this is going to be insanely expensive. Y'all know, I will spend money on a foundation. I will spend money on a complexion product because that is so important to me and I do feel like there are some ingredients that you find in higher end products versus, you know, like drugstore products. You know what I'm saying? I totally get that. When it comes down to eyeshadows though, I don't really like... I'm not going to spend that much. The only one I know I always repeat myself and I'm sorry. The only one I will spend so much money on is Hindash and Pat McGrath. Their formulation is just A1. It's literally A1 top tier. I absolutely love it. I just feel like Tom Ford is just no, like I'm just not going to do it. You know what I mean? But y'all, it is really pressing me to not buy that Tom Ford foundation. If y'all have not checked out my previous videos, I did my friend's makeup for her wedding and she bought the um, traceless matte foundation and I was like, I almost lost my mind. I literally almost lost my mind at how gorgeous and beautiful that foundation is. I tried it on myself and I was like, oh my God. You guys know that it broke the bank for me to buy the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I've been in love with it. Literally, I've been wearing it like every single day for the past like, I don't know, a month now, a month and a half. So I really do eventually want to get the Traceless Matte Foundation, but that's a foundation. I'll spend the money on that, but I will not spend the money on this. And I already know those lipsticks right there are probably about to be like $50 each. Tom Ford is so expensive. Their foundation's like 80 I mean, yeah was $89, $89. So I'm sure this palette right here is probably like 110. You know what I mean? So it's just a no. Next up on the list, we have God is a Woman by Ariana Grande Body Scrub Souffle. This right here is just a no. I don't know if it's me. Okay. And I do feel like her prices are pretty fair. I don't know if it's just me though, but I'm just like cheap. And when it comes down to body stuff, I literally just stick with what's at like Walmart or Target. You know what I mean? As far as like lotions, my hands for some reason, like 
Right now I have lotion on, so you can't tell, but I would have showed you guys. And I would have been embarrassed to show you guys, but I would have showed you. My hands get so dry, I have to use this like gold bond, like healing, whatever it's called. Y'all, I got a big old bottle of it for like eight bucks. You know what I mean? And I'm like, that really helps my hands out. I can't put anything with fragrance on them because it literally burns. So anytime I see any type of like brand coming out with any body, anything, I'm just like immediately no. Like I just don't. I don't know. I just am not into it. Maybe maybe it's the guy side of me that I'm just kind of like, um, yeah, the body stuff is a no for me, but I will buy like a cream for the face. You know what I mean? But not for the body. I don't know. Body stuff just doesn't appeal to me. A body scrub doesn't appeal to me. I said before I used to use a Bath and Body uh, Works one because I got it for super cheap. The like um, their body scrub that was like the, um, oh my gosh, what was it? Eucalyptus Mint. Ooh, that one I really did like because when I was like using it, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so refreshing. Like when you're taking a shower, like y'all, it'll put you to sleep. But this to me does not, it does not appeal to me. By the way, speaking of Ariana Grande, has anybody tried her concealer yet? Because I want to know what you guys think about it because I was going to do a review on it and then I was like, never mind, I'm not going to do a review on it. But make sure you guys let me know how it is. Make sure you guys let me know about like this. And you know what's really weird too is it says right here that it just says Ariana Grande. Like this has nothing to do with REM, I guess. I thought it would be like REM. I don't know. Everyone is coming out with body stuff all of a sudden. I guess they're trying to like dominate all parts of the body. You know what I mean? But yeah, this is a no for me. I genuinely think for the last year, and I do mean the whole last like 12 months, I think that I have had a revolution product inside every single anti haul I really have like their collections are just too much they're too extra I used to love Looney Tunes when I was a kid but this whole collection to me is just no like it looks like play makeup too like I wonder what like their demographic is I wonder what age group they're going for because I look at this and I'm like the only thing that I may consider purchasing is like the sponges you know what I mean the rest of it to me I don't know it's just giving me kind of like merch store at six flags do you know what i mean like that's the type of vibe it's giving me and i don't want to put that on my face like i don't know it's just not for me and on top of that too like i'm so confused with revolution because they have like iheart revolution revolution they have like four different brands and i'm so confused at why they have so many different brands it doesn't make any sense to me but this whole collection and y'all it kind of sucks because i used to really love looney tunes when i was a kid but I just, I don't know what it is about me. Like, I'm just not into this. You know what I mean? Like, I look at this and I'm like, it looks like it's makeup for, like, a six-year-old to do, like, play makeup. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just, I don't know. It's not my vibe. It's a no. I am, like, 90% sure that I talked about this before. But apparently, it barely came out. So, we're going to talk about it again. And it's still a no. This is a Gucci eyeshadow palette right here for $160. It says 12 satin metallic and matte shades from pink to blue to nude nerd. Neutral. neutral. This right here, I said no. Hell to the no. I did think I mentioned it before in a anti-haul and I could have sworn that it was supposed to come out in spring and here we are at the end of summer now. So that's kind of weird because this is definitely giving spring vibes. Like not the actual color story is giving spring vibes, but the whole palette and stuff the whole like component you know what i mean um but 160 dollars for gucci eyeshadows and I've, i think i said this before i am pretty sure i said this but if i didn't i'm gonna say it okay i feel like this palette right here is smoking crack honestly because how are they gonna i get it it's gucci i get it their formula is not going to compare to Pat McGrath. Like, I don't care what anybody says. $160 is not a justifiable price to pay for Gucci eyeshadows. Like, I just, I know I haven't tried it, but I'm just willing to just go right on in and say it's not going to be Pat McGrath or Hindash quality. So, like, why spend the money on it? You know what I mean? But I know there's so many bougie people out there that are like... I'm wearing Gucci eyeshadows. I'm wearing Dior blush. It's like, okay, girl. Like, that Dior blush does the same thing that a Milani, bl L L L Milani blush does. You know what I mean? Like, it's really not that special. And on top of that, too, I could understand if there's makeup collectors out there that are like, oh, my God, the packaging is just so gorgeous. I have to get it for the packaging. This packaging is very dull, very boring, just very, buh, you know? I will say it is very Gucci, you know? But it's just very, like, eh. Anyways, this whole collection's a no. They got these uh, lipsticks right here for $42. No, just, just no. Okay, I'm about to sound really uneducated and really stupid. Because I have heard of the brand before, Shantikai. Okay, I've heard of the brand. I don't know if this is Shantikai. I just do not know how to pronounce this name. So I was like, wait, is this Shantikai? With these palettes right here that are $75 for a quad. $75 for a quad. 
Let me say that again. $75 for a quad that has a picture of like a Jaguar on it and like, what is that? Like a Puma or something? Is that a Puma? I don't even know. Some type of mountain lion. $75. Is this Shanta Kai? I'm like looking at the name here and I'm like, that looks like it says Shanta, right? And then I don't know. Maybe it's like French or something. Someone help me out. I'm sorry. I sound really stupid. Look, I've been in the beauty industry for so long and I've heard of the brand Shantakai before. I've never purchased a product for them. So I'm just like assuming this is how you spell it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've never even seen like packaging for a Shantakai product. So for all I know, this could be completely different and this could be like Shante Kayele or whatever. I don't know. I'm just gonna run with Shantakai. Okay. Let me sound stupid. Let me sound uneducated. But this to me is just stupid. Like this honestly is. Like I'm like, how are you gonna charge seventy five dollars for four eyeshadows and then have like a National Geographic picture on it of just like a jaguar? Like I just, no, it's just a no. And then on top of that too, the lipsticks forty eight dollars. This just has to be Shantikai, right? Because I've heard that the prices are like way expensive, so it just makes sense. But yeah, this whole collection is just a no. Like I just I, it, no. I felt so unsure about the Shantikai thing. I literally went onto Google. Y'all know how like when you're looking for a word and you're like, damn, I can't pronounce that word. And like Google will have a little thing and you could just like, you know, press it and it'll tell you how to pronounce it. Nothing comes up for the Shantikai, whatever. I'm, I hope it's Shantikai because they're awesome. Look really stupid. Whatever. Who cares? I've looked so stupid before online. We'll just keep it going. Next up on the list right here. And Michaela was like raving about this product. And I was like, girl, girl. <laughs> This is the Gimme Brow Fiber Eyebrow Pencil or Volumizing Fiber Eyebrow Pencil. Sorry. She was putting this on and she was like, do you see how like it just builds up this or that? And I'm like, it literally looks exactly like their regular pencils. Like it, there is no difference. I was looking at that, inspecting it. And she was so like shook by this and saying that it gives so much volume to the brow. And I'm like, no girl, like it, lit it literally looks like their regular pencils. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just kind of like, this is not really i don't know it just looks like it gives that like powdery look that a traditional sharpened eyebrow pencil gives you know what i mean there was really nothing too iconic about it and she was like all shook about it and i was like looking at it and i'm like no girl like so this is just a no to me and on top of that too this is 24 dollars 14 dollars for the mini y'all know that any single time that i'm going to buy a precisely my brow pencil i will literally wait until ulta is going to have them on the 50 percent off or like i just don't buy it like oh my gosh i literally just spit everywhere and i do not have water protection on this computer oh my god anyways i will literally only buy it on on sale you know what i mean 24 dollars for a pencil like it's just it's just a no and on top of that too it literally just looks like a traditional brow pencil that's what i'm saying if you guys have not seen michaela's video on this like make sure you guys go check it out she said it's like her new favorite eyebrow pencil and i'm sitting there like trying to see like how does this volumize your brow hairs and the way that she was putting it on like I, i'm not like y'all don't take it like i'm like trying to judge her technique or anything but she was putting it on so heavy that i'm like it literally just looks like a regular brow pencil do you know what i mean so yeah this is just a no and the last product on the list right here are Besame eyeshadows or Besame cosmetics sorry i wanted to specifically read this to you guys because i really do feel like brands are trying so hard to just be different or to be innovative and to like really think of something outside the box like i totally get it like i can only imagine having my own brand and trying to be innovative and like think of something different because everything has been done considering there is probably over like three billion makeup brands out there but i do want to read this these are just two eyeshadows for 24 dollars the packaging does look cute but two eyeshadows for 24 dollars from besame cosmetics and i do believe besame cosmetics came out with that super expensive disney like princess lipstick i pretty sure that they did um but let me just go ahead and read this to you because i was like what it says right here split pan eyeshadow duo with shades that are based on cosmetic colors that date back more than 100 years buildable and easy to blend two finishes matte and shimmer classic shades besame first launch 24 dollars so the whole thing right here shades that are dated back to 100 years like what about these shades <laughs> have not been done 500 times. Like no other brand has come out with like a plum and a shimmery purple and said, this is 100 years old. You know what I mean? Like, oh my gosh, they used to wear this 100 years ago. Like I just don't quite understand the whole purpose of emphasizing that these shades are based on cosmetic colors that date back more than 100 years ago. Cause there is nothing like 
different about these eyeshadows that are not already on the market. Do you know what I mean? Like, I totally get it. Like, maybe maybe you're, like, paying homage to, like, 100 years ago, the eyeshadows they used to wear. But it's not going to make me spend $24 for two eyeshadows. Like... No, it's just a no. Especially from a brand, like, I'm not trying to be messed up. Maybe I'm just living under a rock. But especially from a brand that I feel like is, like, not even really reputable like that. Because I don't really hear anybody talk about Best Cosmetics. You know what I mean? Anyways, y'all, that wraps it up for my anti-haul. I do apologize that this was long because um, it's been a long time since I filmed. So I talked a lot. So make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything. Make sure you guys let me know which products you plan on not purchasing. Because y'all know I love to hear why. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.